Welcome to a Hermes Academy moment. It's me, Stacy, and today we will be talking about the word columinate. You know, my husband used this word on me a while ago when I was outside chatting with one of our neighbors. He said, don't be out there columinating. Columinating? What is this word? Why is my husband telling me not to columinate? And what does this word have to do with me and my big fat mouth? Today we will start a three-part series looking at this word, culminating. In this first session, we will talk about what does the word mean and how is it used in the Bible. Now Webster's Dictionary defines the word culminate as to utter false and harmful statements about another, to defame or slander. And the Oxford thesaurus, my very best friend, substitute the word culminate for the word slander. Now we've all heard of the word slander, and the Bible uses the word slander as well as the word talebearer many, many times. So let's look at this word slander. The word slander means to injure maliciously by uttering a false report. And again, the word culminate means to utter false and harmful statements about another person. So we can conclude that the word culminate is just another word for slander. Now that we know what the word means, let's talk about what the Bible has to say about these words. The word culminate, the word slander, and also the words talebearer. We first hear about these words in the book of Leviticus. Leviticus 19 and 16 says, You shall not go up and down as a talebearer among the people, neither shall you stand against the blood of your neighbor. I am Yahuwah. So here we see that the word talebearer is being used. Next we find the word in the book of Numbers. Numbers 14 and 36. And the men which Moses sent to search the land, who returned and made all the congregation to murmur against him by bringing up slander, a false report, upon the land. Again, in the book of Samuel, 2 Samuel 19 and 27 and he has slandered your servant unto my lord the king also we see that the words are used in the book of the shepherd of Hermas in the shepherd of Hermas it says do not reframe your sons with all these words and your wife which shall be as your sister and let her learn to brighter her tongue with which she culminates. Now the word slander, the word talebearer, the word culminate is used, as we said, many, many times in the Bible. From the Psalms, to Proverbs, to the book of Jeremiah, Timothy, Maccabees. So we see that these words are used from the First Testament to the Second Testament to the Third Testament, the Apocryphal book, the Hidden books, as well as the Forgotten books of Eden. All of these books uses these words. Again, we said that the word slander is another word for culminate, and culminate is another word for slander, which, to, which means to mischievously injure someone by giving out a false or misleading report about them. So what are our takeaways from this class? In this class, we learned that culminate means to slander, and slander means to injure by mischievously giving off a false or a misleading report about someone. And we also learned that the word talebearer can also be used now we will continue this three-part series in our next class, which will be next week. Next week, yeah, because I do have children, a husband, ducks, sheep, chicken, 
Yeah, and a cat too. And I have things to do. But I won't forget you guys. So in our next class, we will talk about what slander does to us and those around us. Well, that's all for today, guys. If you like this class, please give us a thumb up and remember to subscribe. Thank you and shalom.